Kai Ling had successfully resisted their proposal to move the struggle back to the campuses and allied herself once more with those determined to hold the square. On the following morning, she contacted American journalist Philip Cunningham. I have been feeling very sad recently. The students themselves lack a developed sense of democracy. To be honest, from the day I called for a hunger strike, I knew we would not get any results. Certain people, certain causes are bound to fail. I have been very clear about this all along, but I've made an effort to present a staunch image to show that we were striving for victory. But deep down, I knew it was all futile. The more involved I got, the sadder I became. I already felt this back in April. All along, I've kept it to myself, because being Chinese, I felt I shouldn't badmouth the Chinese. But I can't help thinking sometimes, and I might as well say it. You, the Chinese, you are not worth my struggle. You are not worth my sacrifice. But then, I can also see that in this movement, there are many people who do have a conscience. There are many decent people among the students, workers, citizens, and intellectuals. The students keep asking, what should we do next? What can we accomplish? I feel so sad. Because how can I tell them that what we are actually hoping for is bloodshed? For the moment when the government has no choice but to brazenly butcher the people. Only when the square is awash with blood will the people of China open their eyes. Only then will they really be united. But how can I explain any of this to my fellow students? And what is truly sad is that some students and some famous, well-connected people are working hard to help the government, to prevent it from taking such measures. For the sake of their selfish interests and their private dealings, they are trying to cause our movement to collapse and get us out of the square before the government becomes so desperate that it takes action. If we allow the movement to collapse on its own, then the government will be able to wipe out all the leaders of the movement, as well as those leaders in the party and in the military who dare to oppose them, who represent the people. Deng Xiaoping has made it very clear that there is a small handful of people not only in the party and in society, but also among the students. That's why I feel so sad, because I can't say all this to my fellow students. I can't tell them straight out that we must use our blood and our lives to call on the people to rise up. Of course the students will be willing, but they are still such young children. Are you going to stay in the square yourself? No, I won't.